Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. Two things on the agenda today. Thing one, a clone. A really, really, really absurdly good clone. Thing two, a sale. A really, really sale sale. So the clone that we're gonna be talking about is one that was getting a little bit of a groundswell of hype. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and pick that up, see how it is. Right now, as of this video, just under $30 US for the full presentation and everything. And it is none other than this guy right here. Well, this guy, Maison Alhambra, Jean Lo, Immortal. So yeah, this one has been getting a lot of love. I wanted to see, is it the real deal or is it uh, maybe not so great? And then the sale, well, that is the annual fragrance by .ca Canada Day sale. So this runs through July 2nd at 1159 p.m. Eastern. By the way, I have the fragrance linked in the description below. Feel free to check it out down there, as well as a link to the door crashers that are part of this sale. Because essentially each time Fragrance Buy does a sale, they do a whole bunch of door crashers, which in case you don't know what that is, they just take a bunch of different fragrances, uh, kind of a random smattering of fragrances, uh, clones, designers, niche fragrances, just a whole bunch of stuff. And they mark them down pretty heavily and then put it on there as a, a door crasher, essentially so that you go check the sale out because the prices are low. Yeah, you get it. So I've got the sale pulled up here actually, so I'm gonna go over all that stuff with you. If you buy one fragrance, you get one 25% off. It's site-wide using code CAD156. And this is gonna get slightly complex, so stick with me here, but there are also free shipping stackable codes for the different loyalty tiers of Fragrance Buy's loyalty program. So if you're an O addict, then you get free shipping uh, for any order over $99 with code addict ship a d d i c t s h i p addict ship if you're in the o collector tier you get free shipping for anything over 149 with code collector ship and then if you are o fresh then you get free shipping uh, for anything 199 or above with the code fresh ship so those you can stack with other codes uh, so you could stack that up with the buy one, get one 25% off code, for example. And then there are freebies as well. So the first 1,560 orders uh, with Frag by Care, which is like a green insurance thing that you have to add on as you check out. But the first 1,560 orders with that added uh, will receive two freebies. It says uh, that these freebies will be randomly selected from a combination of the following. A 10 milliliter sample, a free full fragrance bottle, cosmetic bag, fragrance oils, candles, keychains, and more. Don't know about you, but I'd be wanting those free bottles. Cosmetic bag, bah, bottle? Mm. So that is the sale. Uh, again, I've got a link to the door crashers down there. Those are the codes. Uh, here they are again in case you need them. And if you had the green buy, you get the stuff. You get the two things. What are the two things? I don't know. Let's talk Fragra though. Let's talk this Fragra. Maison Alhambra. Back uh, again with another clone fragrance. And Maison Alhambra is doing what they love to do which is directly emulating the look of the fragrance that they're cloning. What could go wrong with that? Surely no brands will ever get really angry about that and raise a stink, right? But they do a darn good job of cloning fragrances typically, and uh, Maison Alhambra, of course, is part of Latafa. So when I say Maison Alhambra, I'm really saying Latafa. I mean, it even says Latafa on the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at that box, the presentation, and then we'll talk about fragrance a little bit here. So this is an outer sleeve that goes over the cardboard tube, which your fragrance bottle is going to be inside of. So you have there on the front, the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size, the concentration. It's an Eau de Parfum 100 ml, Maison Alhambra on top of the box. On the back, you've got your sticker of authenticity, you have your ingredients, and on the bottom, 
you have your badge code, your barcode, and of course the Latafa socials. And here is the little tube that your bottle sits inside of. Again, name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration on the front there. Has a little texture to the paper that wraps around the outside of the tube. Got the name of the house on top of the tube and nothing on the bottom. Opens up like so. Then it has kind of a paper and foam interior and your bottle sits snugly right inside there. So here is the bottle and uh, yeah, it looks very similar to Louis Vuitton in terms of the presentation. Uh, again, name of the house, name of the fragrance right there on the front of the bottle and the cap is magnetic. That's pretty nice. It is not as nice as uh, the Louis Vuitton cap, of course, but uh, you wouldn't expect that either, to be fair. And you have a little sticker on the bottom of the bottle there. Let's go ahead and share a couple sprays from the atomizer. Tester strip, let's do it. It's not too bad. So I got this one in about five days ago. I've been giving it some wear, and I gotta say, they crushed it again. As I said, about $30 is the price point of this one uh, from Fragrance Buy anyway. I've seen it at other websites around 60, 65, uh, but they had it for just under 30. And this one is a clone of Louis Vuitton's Le Mans Cité. And uh, did I butcher that? Yeah, probably. But that's what this is a clone of, and the Louis Vuitton is gonna run you $300 US at retail, which means this is essentially 10% the price of the Louis Vuitton. But does it get close to the Louis Vuitton for that 90% off price tag? The answer, as I've already kind of said, yes, somehow. The opening is great. It's got that ginger and citrus combination, just like the Louis Vuitton. And this is something I've harped on over and over and over. Ginger and citrus in the opening is just such an iconic combo at this point. And when you pull it off well, just about everybody is gonna love it. And here it is pulled off very well. Grapefruit, bergamot, ginger, a little tiny touch of uh, rindiness. So like just a little green edge to the citrus off the top, but not at all overwhelming. You have aromatics that come in very early on, rosemary, sage, just like in the Louis Vuitton, you can pick that up here. And then you have this aquatic freshness that works together with those notes off the top. And as it dries down, it picks up a little bit more warmth, a little bit more sweetness from amber. You have a very fresh, slightly minerally, not really metallic ambroxan that comes out pretty early on, frankly, mixes together uh, with that ginger and citrus off the top. This is really just about a perfect spring and summertime fragrance. It would be great uh, to the office as a work scent because it is extremely appealing. There's nothing here that is potentially offensive, divisive, off-putting, none of that at all. It's pleasant, it's clean, it's refreshing, it's brisk, it's, like I said, everything you would want in a summertime scent. And it does have sort of that blue fragrance versatility to it. That sort of grab and go and wear anywhere type of scent profile. It does lean for me uh, more toward being a daytime fragrance than an evening fragrance. Uh, but of course, wear whatever you want whenever you want. It's just if you were gonna say specifically, when is it best for spring, summer, daytime, and then uh, kind of underneath that fall, and evening. And as with many clones that are coming out nowadays from these bigger brands, it doesn't really have any harshness off the top. Like I've sprayed it on just a little bit ago. You can spray it, you know, four or five times, immediately go in and you don't really get that alcohol blast. You maybe get a little sharpness from the citrus when you first spray it on, but that dissipates almost immediately. There's really not much to hate on here. You're basically getting Louis Vuitton for 10% of the price, right down to the inspired by bottling, if you wanna call it that, rip off bottling, yeah. And one thing that you may expect here with it being a $30 clone of a fragrance that is you know, fresh and gingery and citrusy. And while it does have uh, you know, amber and ambroxan in the base there, you may not think of it as being a powerhouse fragrance. You might look at it and think, well, that's probably gonna last you know, an hour and then it's 
it's gone, it's done. And that is not the case, actually. Last a good amount of time off my skin. When I've been wearing it these last few days, I've gotten very solid performance. Projection is good as well, especially in the opening and through the mid. And for spring, summertime, daytime type of fragrance, the performance is actually above average across the board. Now, the original is not hyped as much as something like an, an Angel's Share, for example, with Latafa Kamra. But in terms of quality, of the clone versus the original. This is just as good as something like Comra. Fantastic. Just an absolutely fantastic clone. So uh, if you're looking for an alternative to the Louis Vuitton, this is what you want. 30 bucks, insane deal. So there we go, Jean Lo Immortal from Maison Alhambra slash Latafa, and also sale going on as of when I'm doing this video. If you're watching it in the future, yeah, the, sorry, the sale is probably over. Even if it's over, this stuff still worth checking out. I want to thank you guys for hanging with me here today. Please stay safe out there, and I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later. Bye.